All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be scanning with the Einscan HX at super high resolution, 0.05 millimeter point spacing. Uh, the accuracy actually goes down to 0.04, so we're gonna see how good it really picks up fine details and textures by scanning this hot glue gun. Now, if you see on the handle here, we've got some really nice grip texture here, sort of like a really fine leather, uh, and then these little plus marks also in that grip right next to it, and then some other features in the injection molding uh, that we're gonna see how well it picks that up and turns it into an STL. So without further ado, I'm gonna open up the software and we're going to uh, scan this thing. So I've got my software up here. I'm gonna choose laser scan. Project group, call it high res 05 one, and choose super high resolution. Drag that slider all the way up, hit apply. All right, now I do have my different modes down here, but I'm gonna stick on normal for the time being. And I've got my turntable here with a bunch of markers on it. It's a lazy Susan, it just makes it easy to move the part around. Uh, one of the big things about the HX is there's no automated turntable function yet. So we do have to use a manual turntable, which makes it really easy just to hold the scanner in one position and move the object consistently with the markers that it's sitting on. So I'm gonna hit the preview button and that's gonna give me a preview of the scan lines. And then I'm just gonna press the button one more time. And as you can see, we're starting to pick it up. So I'm actually gonna zoom way in here just so you guys can really see the detail just by clicking that button on the actual unit. So I want you to see how cool it is when it picks up the data. Now those points are all 0 0.05 millimeters apart. So we kind of have to just stay on them for a bit to gather as many points as we can in that area. Now a little trick, if you're running on an older machine or you're limited in RAM, is to actually pause your scan in the middle of it and then go down here and hit cutting plane. And then I'm gonna select by markers and select one, two, three markers, create the plane and just drag that a little bit above all the stuff on the turntable. And now it's not gonna capture any of the table or anything below the cutting plane that I just entered. So now I'm just gonna go back to the scan. I'm gonna hit the button again, to enter preview, zoomed in and I'm gonna start scanning again. And I'm just gonna stick on this area and just gather as many points of detail as I can. Moving it relatively slowly, trying to be smooth. Change my angle a little bit. You see it's filling in those little details in those certain areas. All right, and I think that should be enough data for that area of the handle. So let's go in and check it out. So this is the preview before we've generated the actual point cloud. So this detail here is actually gonna get a lot better once we generate the point clouds and then export to a mesh. So I'm gonna delete any extra scan data that I don't really want because it's just gonna make it take longer to process. Get rid of some of that, get rid of some of that. Get rid of this whole top section that we're not looking at. Some little stragglers over there. Most of this area, it's, it's all just smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna apply that edit and then I'm gonna hit the square generate point clouds. Now the generate point clouds is usually pretty quick. It's turning it into a mesh that can take longer. So depending on your computer setup, you do wanna have a really good CPU and enough RAM to process all this data. In my experience with this part, it took about mm, solid three, four, five minutes to process everything. Okay, so we got our mesh. Now I'm gonna zoom in here and it looks like we've got some pretty good detail. You can definitely make out the pluses on that area. It's not perfect, that's for sure, but if I zoom out, you can still make out that texture. So 0.05 millimeter point distance. 
Not bad, so let's mesh the model and see what comes out of that. I'm gonna turn my filter all the way down so it doesn't do anything special to it and hit apply. And then we're gonna go make a cup of coffee while we wait for this thing to process. Okay, so we do have a couple other options if you need super, super high detailed scans. One of them is the TransScan C, which is a fixed scanner, but uh, it goes down to 0 0.035 millimeter point distance, and it has a 12 megapixel color camera in it, so it actually gets a lot better color textures. Uh, and we'll be doing a video actually really soon on this guy and how well it picks up color and what that color really looks like. It is using a 1.3 megapixel color camera, so that gives you a limited range of results, but it's really good for texture tracking or making miniatures, uh, even some AR and VR applications. Now the auto scan in spec is the other option for metrology grade scanning, very, very high resolution, uh, down to, I believe, 10 microns. And it, the only thing is it's limited to a size of about a softball or so, about that big, and you have to fixture it to a plate, but it moves around fully automatically, and we'll have a video coming out on that soon, so make sure you're subscribed. And here we go. Let's see if this looks any better. Uh, pretty similar. It did definitely smoothed out some of the jagged stuff a little bit, but we did lose a little bit of the definition of those little plus marks in there, but we still got quite a bit of texture on there. Interesting. To be fair, with these scanners, most of the time, you're not buying these from metrology grade data collection. You know, at this level of detail, there's better options out there. Um, what these scanners are really for is reverse engineering and digitalization and things like that, because the accuracy goes down to 0.04 millimeters, but generally you're gonna be scanning anywhere from half a millimeter to one to three millimeters just to get the geometries and then turn that into a CAD model. So this isn't the number one application for this unit, scanning super high resolution, but it's great to have that feature available. Okay, so just to give you an example of how fast this thing really can scan, I am going to go confirm, then I'm gonna go back, delete this mesh data, delete my scan, and then back to laser scan. So just to demonstrate this real quick, so you see what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go back and make a new laser scan, but I'm gonna do it at one millimeter accuracy. Accuracy is the same at 0.04 millimeters, but the resolution of the scan is now one millimeter. So I'm just gonna hit preview and hit go, and we're gonna see how fast this thing picks up. <laughs> yeah, look at that, uh, is definitely getting points very quickly. All right, actually I can switch my mode to black and it should start picking that up a little bit better on the bottom and everything. All right, there we go. And just like that, I'm gonna fit the point cloud, create the plane, move it up, get rid of some of that so we can really look at it. All right, as you can see, it is much lower resolution, but we did it in like 15 seconds. Uh, that is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go mesh model real quick, on water tight. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so if you're getting geometry and doing reverse engineering, uh, that's really what these units in particular are designed for. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. Is this what you expected from the super high res scan or are you expecting more? Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what other types of objects you'd like to see a scan or different types of applications. We do have plans for a full car scan here coming up and a few other really fun projects. So definitely stay tuned, hit that subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Other than that, check out visionminer.com for all your 3D scanning and digitalization and 3D printing needs. We've got SLS, FDM, 3D scanners, accessories, materials, all kinds of cool stuff. We're here to help you. So give us a call, shoot us an email, but otherwise have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.